Hello guys, I am back with another verse of the week. I forgot which one it is, but I'm back with another one. And today, I, the verse that I will be doing is Ephesians 5, verse 1 and 2. So here we go. Therefore, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Now, uh, before I explain what it mean, what the scripture is saying, this scripture is for meant for believers. The believers are people who are saved. But don't click away if you're not saved, because uh, I'm at the end of this video. I think right here on this side of the screen, there's going to be a video pop, uh, that's going to pop up about how to become a Christian, and I'm just going to explain it real quick too. So God had a son, and He sent him down from heaven to earth and that son's name was Jesus so Jesus lived a perfect life and he didn't commit one sin because he didn't commit any sin he was a perfect sacrifice for us so that we can go to heaven and be right with God so he paid the price for our sin by dying on the cross and he was buried for three days and rose again and all we have to do to be saved is believe that that is true and that he did that you can read it in the Bible too if you want to know more. So now I'm going to explain this verse. Uh, the first verse. Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children. So as God's uh, children, we need to be imitators of God. Well, what are imitators? Well, uh, that word imitate means to copy someone. And that's, in this case, that someone is God. So we need to copy God and we need to follow him we need to copy Jesus but how do we know what he did how how that works well it's in his word and if you want to see how Jesus lived his life you can go read the four gospels which are in the beginning of the New Testament Matthew Mark Luke and John so now I'm going to explain the second verse and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God so, uh, it says that God, it says right here, it says, as Christ, and walk in love as Christ loved us. Well, how did Christ show his love to us? Well, right after that, it says he came, that he uh, was a sacrifice, a fragrant offering. Well, here, it says right here, he gave himself up a fragrant, as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. So that's how he showed his love to us. But how can we show our love to him? Well, we can show our love to him by doing the same thing, giving ourselves up a uh, being a sacrifice to God, but not actually dying like Jesus did. What, we're, what, he mean, what we should do as a sacrifice is give our life up to him and submit to him. So I'm, uh, right before that, it says walk in love. Uh, so we need to walk in love, like he says, and we need to, that one way to start walking in love is by doing that, giving our life up to him, and then we start, we walk in love, and we bear fruit, and those fruit are the fruit of the Spirit, and they are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So that's what it's saying by walking in love. So that's what these scriptures are saying, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you're not, and leave a like on this video. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, shout out to my cousin Brianna.